My name is Amr Azim, I'm a reproductive endocrinologist with New York City IVF. Uh, if you've been trying to conceive, uh, usually the initial step is um, to try natural conception. Uh, and uh, uh, there are a lot of inaccurate information related to how you should do that. Um, um, information related to the need to time uh, the intercourse close to the time of ovulation. And uh, um, the, the, for example, one of the common advices would be to try to time the ovulation using the ovulator predictor kit or by assessing the quality of the cervical mucus. How long would it stretch? Uh, or uh, in relation to uh, um, uh, other methods related to symptoms. And, uh, or, or so, and some women also purchase expensive uh, intelligent thermometers to measure their basal body temperature. And um, uh, actually, all of these methods have not been proven to increase the chance of natural conception. And there are multiple studies out, out there that uh, attempted to look at these methods and none has shown an increase in the uh, ability to conceive naturally. Uh, on the other hand, um, uh, uh, women that have intercourse three times a week without timing, uh, would have the highest chance of conception uh, and uh, women that have uh, the intercourse two times a week would have a, a slightly lower chance of, of, uh, of conceiving uh, as compared to women that, that have intercourse three times a week. Uh, there is no method that of timing that has been shown to increase the chance of conception whether that be a calendar or an app or a urine test or a temperature. Uh, the uh, World Health Organization conducted a study years ago and found that women that have intercourse three times a week would have the highest chance of conceiving. And this is what you should do. Uh, forget about the thermometers, forget about the apps, forget about the calendars, and forget about the ovulator kit. Intercourse three times a week is all what you need to do and you do not need to time it. If you attempt to time ovulation, you can make mistakes because the urine kit can give you a wrong reading. Uh, so it could be positive while it's not. You could read positive while it's not. Uh, uh, the, uh, and and the, so is the basal temperature, body temperature and the character of cervical mucus. On the other hand, a human sperm uh, classically, uh, we knew that it survives three days and we know now it survives much longer than three days. So any attempt at more accurate uh, timing of intercourse uh, can expose you to, uh, to uh, uh, missing ovulation and missing a chance to conceive and on the other hand has never been proven to increase the chance of conceiving.